this week's parsha, the Torah speaks about the death of Sar. And the Torah begins with the wording, and these were the days of Sar. She lived 127 years. These were her full days, and this was her life. It's interesting that the Torah describes the details how many years she lived, and these were the days of Sar. And Rashi says, also, why? What's the connection between the beginning of the Parsha, of the death of Sarah, to the end of last week's Parsha, which was the Akedah, the offering of Yitzchak to on, the, on the altar, which was only a test for Avraham. Says Rashi that the reason Sarah died was because of the story of the Akedah. The Satan came to Sarah and said, you know who your husband is? And she says, no, I don't know, where is he? He's probably learning somewhere. So he said, no, he took your son and slaughtered him for Hashem. And obviously he didn't. It was only a test. But Sarah didn't hear, didn't hear the rest of the story. And she just got a heart attack and died. And that is why we begin the Parsha with Sarah's death, because it was a direct cause of the end of last week's Parsha. But what's the message for us? And why is it? Why did Avram have to suffer this loss of losing his wife for this test of bringing his son on the Akedah? You know, we have this story many times when you're sitting at home at night, relaxing on the couch, and someone calls you, maybe you come over to visit the sick. We need you come say Mazel Tov to a chasana, even if you're not so excited to go, but you really think it's the right thing to go, and you get out of the couch. And you go, and on the way back, you get a flat tire. What do we say right away? We say, no good deed goes unpunished. Like, why did this have to happen? Just now, had I stayed home, this would have never have happened. And obviously, that itself is the test. Everything which happens comes from Hashem. And the reason it happened now was a test for you to see, will you say every good deed Go, no good deeds go, goes unpunished? Or will you say, this had to happen anyway? Thank you, Hashem, for helping me withstand the test. It had to happen anyway. And it's nothing because, got to do with you going out. You would have suffered that day anyway for something. This was the test of Avram. Says the Torah, these were the days of Sar. Sar had to die anyway. She lived 127 years. Now was the time for her to enter life. And Hashem made that, sh- that the story of the Akedah should be exact moment of her death so that it should be a test of our realm. Will he say, I should never have done that. Look what happened. Or no. Avram passed the test and said, these were the days of Sarah. She lived 127 years. She was supposed to die anyway. And I'm not saying it's because of the mitzvah I did. And he passed his test. We should all learn to pass those tests and recognize everything which happens has a reason. And obviously not because we've done something good. Thank you. This week, Shabbos to travel in Hasidim are traveling to Staten Island, New Springville Jewish Center. It's a community we've been going for the past seven years. This will be our eighth year. We're very much looking forward. to Have a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbos, Shabbos.